Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in South Korea. Thank you for joining us. We begin with the South Korean government discussing the possible lifting of the remaining antivirus measures and lowering the alert level for COVID-19. With this, people in the country would no longer have to wear masks at all or go into seven-day isolation should they contract the virus. In the meantime, South Korea and China plan to expand flights between the two countries to pre-pandemic levels. Our Jung Eun-ju has the details. South Korea is considering whether to lift its remaining antivirus measures as the number of new COVID-19 cases is stabilizing. The Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency said on Friday that it will begin discussions on restrictions such as the seven-day quarantine rule and the indoor mask mandate in certain areas. The remaining rules may be lifted after the country's alert level against COVID-19 is lowered from the current serious to cautious. The decision depends on the results of the World Health Organization's meeting on the pandemic, scheduled for around late April to early May. South Korea has maintained a COVID-19 alert level of serious since February 2020. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport said Friday that South Korean and Chinese authorities have agreed to gradually increase the number of flights to pre-pandemic levels with COVID-19 measures eased for both countries. The move comes after South Korea lifted its PCR test on arrival rule for travelers from China on Wednesday and after China made a similar move on Friday for South Korea. Both countries, however, will continue to require pre-flight tests. South Korea also resumed issuing short-term visas for Chinese visitors last month. In January, South Korea reinstated its testing rule for China before and after arrival and temporarily stopped issuing short-term visas for Chinese nationals when cases in China had soared after Beijing ended its zero-COVID policy. Seoul and Beijing have the rights to provide 608 flights a week en routes to each other's country. A transport ministry official said that both countries used to offer a combined 1,100 weekly flights before the pandemic and that flights to China accounted for one-fourth of South Korea's international flights. Local airlines are expected to initially increase the number of flights on routes to cities such as Beijing and Shanghai this month. Jung Eun-ju, Arirang News.